Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a small Bath & Body Works candle haul for the fall. Hi guys, it's me, Sharon of Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you come back and tune in. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a small Bath & Body Works candle haul for the fall. I hadn't meant to pick up any new fall candles yet. I was in the mall, I walked past, I said, okay, I'm going to get one candle, sweater weather. But of course, once I got inside, it was a different story. So I'm going to share with you some new fall scents. Well, they're not new to me. They may be new to you. New fall fragrances for fall candles. Let's get started. This is the ultimate, for me, in my opinion, this is the ultimate fall candle. Even though I burn it all year round, it is the ultimate fall candle. I think it's a rustic farmhouse, late fall type of candle. For most people, for me, it has awesome throw. Um, I recommend it highly. It is a classic. I burn this one all year long. It's, um, mm, I tell you, the notes on here, for those of you that don't already know, it is fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, fresh woods, and essential oils. What is not to love? about sweater weather. It is my go-to candle. It is the first candle I ever purchased from Bath & Body Works. I remember back in the day when it was in yellow and uh, that was sweater weather. This is my second signature go-to scent. Of course, everyone knows that if you've been watching my channel, my signature, my number one signature go-to scent is Cashmere Plum. Um, and that's by, that's not from Bath & Body Works. Um, but this one is my favorite and oldest candle from Bath & Body Works, Sweater Weather. I recommend it. It's a classic. The, the cold nose on this is fantastic and the throat is even better. It performs well. This is a workhorse. It works well in a large room. And so, you know, in a smaller room, it's going to be quite a bit. <laughs> it's, it can get a little thick in a small room, but in a large room, it's perfect. It permeates throughout the entire house. I like two of them and I can smell it everywhere. I love the packaging. It's, it's very pretty. I love the label. It's really nice. And I'm loving the color of the wax. That aquamarine color. Uh, you remember the original sweater weather used to be yellow. And when they changed it to blue, I was highly offended. I'm not a person that has a problem with change, but I did have a problem when they changed sweater weather. I think they also changed the recipe because something about it just did not, something about it just did not smell the same. I was highly offended to, when they changed it to the blue. Uh, then they changed it back to the white. They changed it to the white, and now we're at the aquamarine. And I love this. I love the label. I love the color. What else can you say about sweater weather? It is fall in a jar. If you don't have sweater weather, get it. If you have sweater weather, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have this one in your collection, you need to go get it. Marshmallow Fireside. I love the label. I love the wraparound applique on uh, these collections here. Um, this one has the uh, faux wood paneling. Uh, the applique on the outside of the jar. I cannot wait to get to the point where I can burn this and begin to see uh, light dance through the cutouts here. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I have a background die cut that actually creates this exact cutout that I use for greeting cards. Marshmallow Fireside. This year it's gray. Marshmallow Fireside has always been a, a cream, off-white colored wax. The notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering wood, fire, roasted vanilla, crystallized amber, and essential oils. And I smell all that, and I love it. 
Marshmallow Fireside is another classic go-to staple workhorse kind of candle um, that you should have in your collection. The cold nose is awesome and the throat is fantastic. Rose Water Ivy. Rose Water Ivy to me is not necessarily a fall scent, but it is another one of those scents that I really love um, that I burn all year round. So I re-upped on Rose Water Ivy. The notes on Rose Water Ivy are a soft rose, soft rose pet soft rose petals, rain kissed ivy, spring musk with essential oils. If you like rose water, you'll love this candle. That's what it smells like. It smells like roses on 10. So it was a no brainer that I would like the rose, um, the uh, rose water and ivy. So if you like rose scented parfums or uh, rose water, you'll love this one. The throw on it is fantastic. The throw on it is really good. And uh, it's one of those candles that you can burn and let permeate throughout the entire house as well. That's one of the reasons I burned it all year long. Not necessarily a fall scent, but if you like flowers, if you like roses, if you like rose water and rose scented perfumes, um, this is the one. Fresh flowers in a jar. In the springtime, I burn this one a lot. And then this one here is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Look at that label. The applique on this one is just gorgeous. I love that collection. I love that. This can go in all your fall vignettes. It will go in, you'll see it in mine. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's absolutely pretty. Um, it is that, mm, the throw on this is Heavy Cinnamon. You know what it reminds you of? Michael's. <laughs> this reminds me of Michael's in the fall uh, during the holiday season. It is a very strong note of pumpkin and cinnamon. So the notes is warm cinnamon, brown cloves, vanilla cream, brown sugar, and essential oils. And I love all those things. I really do. I love all those scents all wrapped up into one. This is to me, when I think pumpkin spice, this is what I think of. You've got your clove, you've got your cinnamon, you've got your pumpkin. I think the only thing maybe missing is cardamom, and I like that. But when you think, when I think fall and I think pumpkin spice, this is the scent that comes to mind for me. But I do love this combination. I think this is a winner. I would recommend this one. I There's a lot of pumpkin scents out there and I think this one here is one of the better ones. Um, the throw is, actually I don't know what the throw is on this one because this is a pre-burn review. So I'm gonna burn this one. There's a couple of them and then I've got some bakery scents as well. Um, this one and the last two that I'm gonna show you are pre-burn. So I don't know exactly how they're performed, but I mean, giving the, the, what I know about Bath and Body Work candles, it should be pretty decent. It's very intense, which makes me feel like this one would perform well in a large room and could possibly be overpowering in a small room. But again, I'll follow up on this one and let you know. Um, I think it's a perfect pumpkin fall candle. I see that they moved the warning label. It used to be down towards the bottom and now they've moved it up here. Uh, it does say, it talks about trimming the wicks down to a quarter inch. So make sure you trim the wick before you uh, use it the first time. And when you start to see it mushroom, trim it again. That means it's time for a trim. That will then cause the candle to burn more evenly. And then you don't get those sparks that shoot off and scare you to death when you're lighting the candle. A faulty wick in your candle will call tunneling are pooling so you want to make sure you take the time to trim the wicks the initial you know before you burn it the first time and during the course of using it if you see that little mushroom top clip it off but don't clip it too short because then the wax will overtake the wick and it won't burn properly and that will also cause for an uneven burn where you can't get all the wet wax is not melting throughout the the, the time that the candle is lit so um, yeah, make sure you trim the wicks on these. And these last two are my bakery scents. Um, I don't buy a lot of bakery scented candles, but these two are go-to candles that I burn 
quite often uh, in the fall. Well, actually one of them is, one of them is new. So, well, I'll get to that one in a minute. The, um, the blueberry pancake, I'll get to that one in a minute. But this is one of the bakery scents that I re-upped on. Uh, the pumpkin pecan waffle, this was probably my second bath and body work candle that I purchased for my kitchen. Um, to me, it evokes that Saturday morning family breakfast where you're making waffles and pancakes. And that cinnamon, mm, fantastic throw. Uh, it works well in a large space. I burn this in my kitchen probably almost every weekend. And the notes on this pumpkin pecan waffle is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar, and essential oils. And it's got that fantastic lid on it. What's not to love? Look at that label. I love it. I almost sometimes, because I have the larger um, candle holder, it sometimes covers up the label and sometimes I want the label to show. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, the label on here is so pretty, I would definitely want to share that as I burnt it. Um, it is a classic bakery scent with awesome throw, um, great cold nose, and during holiday events, during the fall and the winter, I would like this as people are coming in. I've also used this in, um, I've used this one to burn at open houses. You know that smell of cookies back in the day? Uh, realtors used to bake cookies in the house to make you feel more homey when you came in, when you're showing a property. Well, I can light one of these, I can get there early enough and light one of these and it gives off that home scent. Something about that smell makes you think of food. That bakery scent is sweet, that cinnamon. It makes you feel like, yeah, this could be my home. So uh, as a realtor, I've burned these at open houses before. Did it work? I got the deal closed, but was it because of the candle? I don't know. I like it. I like it in my home. So yeah, I recommend pumpkin pecan waffle in your home, in your collection, and in your properties that you have listed for sale. This is the last one, my blueberry maple pancakes. Um, I've never had this one before. So this is going to be a cold nose pre-burn review. I will get back with you on what actually transpires. Uh, like I said, I have high hopes for it because it's a Bath and Body Works candle and usually they have enough essential oils in there for it to permeate pretty well in a large room. And so if it does the large room, it's going to do the small room. Um, mm, I smell the blueberries and I love blueberries. So that blueberry scent, the color, that navy blue, which is one of my favorite colors. If you've been watching my channel, you see the navy blue everywhere. And they got that blueberry scent. They got the blueberry scent down. The notes on this is wild blueberries, griddled fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup, and essential oils. I think they knocked this one out of the park. At least as a cold nose, it's, it seems pretty good. Um, I understand this was a must have last year. So I did not pick it up last year. Um, but I got it now because I'm hearing, you know, I, I, I kept hearing last year how it was a must have and it was a, it was a go to for last fall. So I've got it this year and I'm going to give it a try. I'll follow up on this one as well. And that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my small Bath and Body Works fall candle haul. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you come back and tune in. And with that being said, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!